All right, everybody. I think I've got it this time. When we go through that portal, which is a closed door, it takes us into, I don't think it's actually the Vandegrift house, but what I'm going to call the Vandegrift house. And we have to lay down the rooms as they actually are in the Vandegrift house. So I went over to the house and made myself a little chart. So half stairs on this first one. And now we want this one to be um, room with a book. That one. Okay. And now upstairs, it's, what's this one? The chair with a rug. And then over here, that's downstairs. We want it to be the hallway. Yeah, the hallway. Uh-oh. I don't remember that one. Oh, desk, 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 desk. That one, all right. And I think, I think that's right. I don't know if this is gonna be like the final, yeah, the attic. Okay. Oh, and then we have to step through each one and then it's permanent, okay. There we go. Okay, we've got it figured out. All right, so that's permanent now. I'm gonna leave these ones I'm not sure of, like the room and such. Oh boy. Oh no, it's not that one. It's not that one. Yes, got it, cool, ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that was right behind us. Um, room with a rug. That's downstairs. Oh, I think it might be that one. We'll leave it alone for a second, though, because the room with a rug is over here, I thought. Yeah. All right. Whew, there's a, uh, definitely not that. Okay. Okay, let's put it together. We have enough information now. So there's the chair and the room with the rug which means that this does not go to the chair and the room with the rug. That's downstairs. There are only three. Yes. Baller. All right. We've got most of the house done. Okay. Now, so this room, we've got a few options. Let's double check what it's supposed to be over here. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So, the one with the desk. Ooh, that's confusing. That's the same room, it's just a different angle. Okay, different doorway, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna be looking at the side of the bureau. It's not a bureau, the side of the writing desk. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Ha <laughs> ha! Got it! I'm too smart for you. I'm too smart for you. Now there's just the first floor. We already had that one set up. Right? Yeah, that's right. Yes. Okay. Okay. We're getting it. We're getting it. That's the room we're in. Okay. And that's back behind us. I'm 90% sure. Ooh, I'm not 100% sure though. Yes, okay. That one was a total guess. Who? What's gonna happen if we get this right? It's not the room with the book. It's not that one. Okay, it's not that one. It's not that one, which means it has to be this one. Oh, guys, I think we're getting it. This is the longest the portals have ever lasted for me. Room with a book. Did that do it? Oh. <gasps> we did it! Look at this room! What the fuck is going on? Okay, I'm not gonna read that yet. That's gonna be another of Ethan's stories. Look at this! Oh, good! Screenshot! Ugh. 
Uh, look at this little stone baby. Oh, it's so creepy. Ah, love. Well, there's no door. Dope. Look at these engravings. I like the engravings. Oh, guys, I can't believe that works. Let's read a story. A magician once lived inside an old house and made potions that let him see the future. People from the village came to the magician's house and demanded he share his potions with them. We want to see the future too, they told him, but the magician said no. The people from the village grew angry and burned the magician's house. But the magician, why does everything end in fire, knew this would happen. He had already cast a spell in his potion room. The house burned, but the room did not. The people from the valley waited, but the magician never came out. Hallways. Infinite hallways. Why are you stand? Spying? No. No. What the hell's wrong with you exactly? <sighs> Nothing. You need to stop believing your stupid stories around. You're freaking everyone out. A new room we're in a new room and then we can open that door cool blaze reveals moonshine operation ashland township volunteer firefighters discovered an apparent moonshine still while battling a blaze in the woods according to authorities still comprised of a propane stove four gallon stainless steel pot uh, based on the size of the still bayfield county blah 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 could be other stills looks like we're that's where we are officers on the scene recovered a half gallon of apple pie moonshine i could use some of that Police have been police. The police have been unable to determine who owns the still. Sheriff Shafel said a cigarette butt tossed at the scene likely caused the fire. NASA launches ATS-6 satellite. What the hell is NASA doing here? NASA launched what has been called the world's first educational satellite in Florida, giving the United States a powerful edge in telecommunication technology. Directly broadcast educational programming to several countries. NASA believes the satellite will remain in constant contact with Earth the next five years what the hell does that have to do with anything okay well we've got alcohol certainly with some illegal stuff going on well maybe that explains the astronaut okay so this is their still all right what we're not even in that other house anymore. Crazy. Bizarre as fuck. Okay. So, other than like recreating scenes, I think that we've, we're kind of, we're telling his stories, right? And I bet that paper is going to be gone now. The whole desk is gone that the paper was sitting on. Oh, I feel smart. I feel smart. It's also leading me to think that everything is self-enclosed here. Like, except for where the crankshaft, you know, it gave us a picture of where it was. All of the puzzles, I think, are self-enclosed. So there, we've got another puzzle over at the rail car and the dead guy. So... We've got to be able to do something else. Otherwise, it would tell us to go somewhere. Um, and then we've got another puzzle over at the tomb with the lamp, which hasn't been fixed yet, and the crows. Both the murdered crows and the stone crow. Stone crow killers! So... Okay. I think we can do this, guys. I think we can do this. I think we can figure it out. There's a little warning at the beginning that doesn't hold your hand. I don't think it's going to... How hard it is doesn't matter. You know, it's the experience, and this experience is incredible. And I think that that's lower than it was. Maybe I'm just being paranoid, but I think that that's lower than it was. Maybe that's some kind of strange marker of how, how far we are in the game. Okay, so these... These rail cars are stuck here because there's this debris which is blocking them. I don't even think we really need to move them. No, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to 
look around them and maybe look underneath. Okay, let's just get back to the main rail car. I think we can... I think we'll be able to solve, quote-unquote, to retell the story of what happened to uh, Travis. I'm pretty sure that's Travis, who's been mowed down by the rail car. There's the witch's hut. That was another story we told. Another one of Ethan's stories that we retold. I love the premise that it's just about retelling the stories of a of a lost child. And that maybe that's the way to find them. Through the eerie woods. And to the rail car we go. Okay. Rock. So, this is still running. Canister. Severed legs. Maybe we need to move this over the severed legs. This is where it would have sat for a long time. Not where it would have been when it killed Mr. Travis. Let's back it up just to where the blood trail is. That's probably good. I wonder if this will do it. Severed leg. Oh! We need to go down to where the rope is, I think. Rail car? Canister? have to get it close and okay there we go all right yeah we got that okay are we gonna see who's driving it no nope. rail car that's why there was blood on the crankshaft yep Okay, now let's go down. Will this tell us something new now? No, that's even smaller than it was. Oh, I can actually kind of angle it somehow. Never been able to do, never noticed that before, I should say. Where is the rock? Right, because there has to be a rock that he was finally killed with. That's my guess. Okay, that's not telling us anything new. Severed legs. Rope. Oh, rail car is now solved. There's no more question mark. So how do we solve the rock? And then they may kind of line up and lead us to something. Maybe? I kept thinking that it would lead us to something, but... It's not telling us anything new.
Where is this stupid rock? No. Oh, golly. All right. It doesn't line up that direction. It is definitely telling me something about this direction. Oh, we just have to line it up correctly. Where's the rock? It's by a tree stump. Okay. By a tree stump next to the railroad. Okay. Near where... I think that's the rail car. So I think it's near where the rail car... Um... Okay. We just need a tree stump. Okay, all right. That's gonna help a lot now that I've finally figured out. You just have to get it lined up perfectly and then you can um, kind of track it down. Okay. So we should be able to figure out the question marks. There it is. There you are. Take it? Okay, I'll take it. What about when we go down to the body now? It's not gonna show us anymore? I would've thought the rock would be really helpful with this. I'm pretty sure that's how he was finally killed. Okay, there aren't any more questions at the moment. Let's go ahead and line this back up. What am I missing? What am I missing? Anything small? Severed legs. Okay, there's that noise again. It made that noise the first time that I lined it up over the rail car thing. So I'm pretty sure that that's what's supposed to be, that it's supposed to be there. We've got the rock, we've seen the severed legs and the rope. It seems like it's bigger than it was before, yeah? What are we missing? What are we missing? You remember how I was saying how, oh yeah, it's not going to be that hard. Okay, well maybe we should go back to the cemetery where we've got questions. Alright everybody, we are back at the church. And we're going to, oh, tombs this way. We are going to run back to the tomb and see if we can't get these things with question marks to line up for us. Okay. There we go. Just had to line it up. Jeez. What are you showing me? Blackness. Just pure blackness. Oh, the tomb entrance. Okay. Something in the tomb. We still don't see it yet. And then there was also the crow down here. Just have to get it to line up a bit. That's wrong. Where are you, crow? Oh, so close. Oh, so close. Oh, this is really finicky. Oh, oh. Oh, it's so close. Come on. 
There it is. Yes. Okay. Oh, we've got to go find that crow in the cemetery. Okay. It's near the statue of Jesus by the lower of three. Okay. That was, that was finicky. But it points us the way. It points the way. Oh, I dig it. I dig it. Hello. Right? Oh, this one? Where is the statue? There's the statue, and there's the crow. Oh, it's a stone crow. Okay. Got it. As I was saying, stone crow killers. Okay. So let's bring this crow down here. Oh, there are two now. <gasps> and they spark. Oh, God. Another one. A crow dagger. Oh, no. Sure looks like a sacrificial dagger. Cause of death. Chest wound. No blood. Chest wound was post-mortem. Facial cut. Shallow. Minimal bleeding. Blood streaks. Back wound? Single or multiple attackers? The rock. Is it the rock? We don't have enough information yet, I guess. Okay. Well, cool! That's progress. Let's see what this... Oh, dagger fix! Yes! Okay. We're recreating it, guys. We're recreating it. Is this gonna change? If I touch him now? Yep. What? Where are they going? Where are they going? Can I communicate? Oh, that's exactly what we were doing. We were recreating scenes. So what do we do now? Oh, I have to stand right in it to get it to form up. Okay. Story hasn't been told yet. But we've got more vignettes. There was another one down there. Some kind of an argument? Carrying the lamp. I hear wolves. That's spooky. I know that there is another one. But where did it go? There were five or maybe six. I should have counted. There it is. Chronology. Tag. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, it's not... It's not the last one, I don't think. This is going to be the last one. Five. 
Okay, so that's five. This is going to be four. And then this is probably going to be three. I'm going to call this one one. And this one two. Our boy. Chad is putting our boy in that crypt. And bricking him up. Putting him to the sleeper forever. The hell's going on? Where's the Oh, and then it came apart. Okay. Yeah. Partly because we had two fives. So that is number one, but this is not number two. Okay. So that's not number two. I think number two might be him attacking this guy. Let's see if that's it. That was weird. No. Okay, so that's not number two. It might be three. Okay, Chad, get off of him. Three, four, five. That's not two. Oh boy. Chad, get off of him. No, that one's coming up as number two. that one too. Our boy. Chad, let me see it. Chad, let me see it. Okay. I wonder if I'm missing one. That's gonna be the very last one where they kill him, I'm pretty sure. Alright, we know that that's number one. Maybe this is number two. That doesn't really make sense, but we can try. Oh boy, you know he's harmless. You know this is wrong! Oh, that's the bricking up. Oh! Okay, this one's gonna fall apart. Okay. Okay, dope. Ethan, good boy! Stabbing him in the eye, good boy! Alright, this is gonna be number three. And then number four is gonna be... This one is either four or five. I'm gonna call that four and the last one down slope five. This episode's going pretty long because we have gotten into it. As soon as we solve this, we will uh we'll cut it boy. for now. Chad is putting our boy in that crypt. And bricking him up. <sighs> giving him to the sleeper forever. The sleeper. I don't like her letting her her son be bricked up in a tomb. You know he's harmless. You know this, no, this is, is wrong. wrong. Chad. Oh, what is going on here? Go boy. Chad, let me see it. Get the hell away from me. Dale's fault. He should have been helping. Dale's weak. He always has been. You're right. He is weak. Oh, that's number four. The one where he attacks Dale is number on? four. Okay. All right. Well, we'll skip a couple of scenes so you guys don't have to watch all of that again. That's four. I see. It's hard. This is like this forensic putting the story together is suddenly hard. 
Okay. Yep. Yep. Chad, Chad, get off of him! He's your brother! Get oh. off of him! Oh my god. And last one. Oh, Ethan. Ethan, get away! Travis. Okay. Back into the tomb they go. It's not right. Ethan's our boy. Dad, over. I need to get into the mine. What? Mine? My, my key. I, I don't have it. I guess I'll use the tunnel near the gate. Just the tunnel near just the keep gate. Mom away from me, all right? She's sick. You're all sick. What's causing this sickness? Tunnel. Tunnel near the gate. The sleeper must not sleep. Ethan disturbed something. Oh, Whatever no. it was, it got out into the air and into the minds of his family. The sleeper. All right, everybody. This episode's gone on way too long, but I hope you enjoyed it. It was, it was really good putting that story together. It's so even though we were just guessing, it's so satisfying. You are watching Noah's Arcade. My name's Noah Gola. This is the vanishing of Ethan Carter, and every moment we are coming closer to finding the boy.